Welcome back, guys, to another episode, and this is part two of the 486 restoration and, of course, modifications, anything I need done. So basically now we are already have taken out that CMOS battery. We are going to clean it up, as you see here, with some rubbing alcohol, and we're going to put a new one in. But I'm going to put in a new original battery, a little better, of course, a nickel metal instead of a NICAD. But the bottom line is I'm going to keep it original, rechargeable the way it was when it first came out. So let's just get this battery installed and get on with the show. All right, let's get some of the paste on. So here's where, you know, you got to put some paste now. The thing with these old motherboards and people need to understand things were way different back then and the solder they used is terrible so getting it off was quite the chore just to get the holes free put the battery back in oh, it took me so long i had to cut out so much of this video just for this part here, just to get the stupid holes to be holes again to get the thing back in. And it's it's because it's like a really heavy, weird uh, grade of solder that they used back then, like a, I would say a heavy lead base. Um, and today, mostly everything is silver. But I mean, sadly, the lead base held better, but it's just something to go over if you're going to be doing these boards and you're gonna be trying to solder to them, or it would have been easier, honestly, to solder a CR2022 or 2032 to it, uh, just for the simple reason that I could have soldered to the solder contacts that were there and it would have stuck. But in this situation, trying to keep things as original as possible, so I'm putting back an original style battery. Now I bought 10 of them, I think it was like 10 for I don't know, maybe 10 bucks delivered. It was pretty cheap. And so now I have 10 of these rechargeable batteries to work on many different uh, boards in the future and make things back to the way they were. So as you can see here, I'm getting everything in, getting things together and uh, getting ready to solder. As you see here, I, I, that leg is not quite in. Again, just another part of a very long, if this didn't take me, a half hour to 40 minutes just to get this to sink in the way I wanted it. I'd be shocked that I didn't cut out about that much. I think I cut 22 minutes out of this part of the video. So anyway, that being said, we're going to get this done. And you know, this is a project that is going to take time, of course. And it's a project that I would like to have you, the viewers, working with me on in numerous ways, like, for example, uh, giving me ideas, giving me pointers, telling me, hey, you know what, I've done this, maybe that'll work for you. These kind of things really, really help. I mean, as much as I, I hope I know what I'm doing, there's always someone that can do something better or show me something better. So that being said too, and oh, one thing, make sure your positive and negatives are right on your battery or, well, you're in for a little bit of a mistake. So. We got it in now. It's done. Let's move on and uh, start getting some stuff mounted. It's just got to get done. Okay, now that we got the board um, all back and uh, repaired. I have the front ready to go on soon. And I'm going to get rid of these spots. So I'm going to do that off camera. Now that I got there's those spots are almost like they're um, part of the case like it's like weird into the metal I've tried everything alcohol everything nothing took it off um, where we had a problem with this screw right here I am NOT going to put that piece back in which is this one here because it one it's beat up and two um, I don't trust it so we have a standoff over here there is a new post here for a screw and another one over here for a screw. So those are gonna be my two screw downs. Everything else will be standoffs. 
It's almost like nothing was meant to be in this case, but it is in. Everything is clean. And uh, get it back together, fire it back up, and let's see what we have for um, functionality at this point. And then we'll go on to trying some upgrades or whatever have not. Um, again, this had no sound card when I got it, so I want to put a sound card in it. And so on. I do have a more uh, powerful chip, but I'm not sure this board is going to take it. And it may be just because the chip was never created when the board was, so it's not labeled. But I'm going to see if I can do it. Well guys, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for part two. Uh, just because there's so much going on in each segment that uh, in between there was a lot of footage completely taken away. I don't want to make the videos too long in between, but as you can see, we're going to take this ugliness of a case and, uh, you know, turn it around, I hope. So in the next video, we will hook up the motherboard, everything all back up so it's, it's wired up to be tested. Get the power supply back in and we will show the before and after of the front face and you guys let me know what you think i don't know what to say about it yet whether i'm happy or not but anyway guys i hope you guys are enjoying the ride and i hope you guys stick around for all the segments for this and we can start enjoying some vintage gaming together even live streaming the old stuff. Till next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Game over.